hi and welcome back to my channel in today's video you have my december tbr now i am filming this about four days before the end of november so there are several books that i plan to have read by the time that december rolls around i also am participating in three different readathons one is the year-long pokathon readathon and i will talk more about that in a moment one is the reindeerathon i think that's what it's called I am on, I forget which team I'm on, but I'm, they're assigned randomly. So I guess to get them even, so I'm not on the team that I wanted, but it's okay. And I'm also participating in the low key, low stakes, winter break sort of part of the Aurelium readathon, the magical readathon. And I will talk about each of these as I get there. Now, I have some for sure books that I'm going to read to meet all of those prompts. And then I also have the rest of my Goodreads Choice Award nominees for that project. The reason that I'm not putting a definitive list of those is because I still have four days left and I want to try to get through several of those before uh, the end of November and then before the project ends. That being said, several of these books that I have on the readathon are going to be read in the first part of December because they are part of that project. I'm going to start off with those books that don't fit any of the readathon prompts, but are books that I'm going to finish this year. First of which, I'm going to finish Realm of the Elderlings with Assassin's Fate. I will probably be listening to this towards the end of December. I'm bracing myself for all the emotional investment that's going to pay off in this book. I know it's going to hit hard, so I'm sort of saving it towards the end of the year because I know it's going to be really good. I will be listening to that via audiobook because I don't want to break the spine and UK paperbacks are not really floppy. The other is finishes off my Brandon Sanderson project, year long project. And I have one more Cosmere novel left to go, but I also have some of the novellas and extra stuff that is in the Arcanum Unbounded. I need to finish that. There's not much of it left. I don't believe. And then also the novella Dawn Shard, which I believe comes after Rhythm of War. So first I'm going to start with what I need for to finish off Pokathon. So what I did is I went through and there were a lot of prompts that I didn't get in any of the gyms. And so I went through and I saw, looked at all my past books to see which ones that I could fit. There were a few of them that I didn't only one prompt will I not complete, and that is the read a horror. I don't read horror. I have no inclination to read horror. Perhaps I will use the Book Eaters, which is on the Goodreads Choice Awards list in fantasy, because I've heard that it leans towards the horror side, which is why I didn't get it in the first place. Perhaps I will use that one to cross that off. But the ones that I know that I will not cross off by that point, so I do have everything written down on my paper, so I will be glancing down at this occasionally. Okay, so the ones that I do have left on the list are as follows. I have the one for Zubat, which is vampire related. So I'm going to read Silver Under Nightfall by Renji Peko. This is literally the only vampire book that I own and have any interest in reading. The next one is actually on two lists. And for that one, the Pokemon is Firo, a, a book that you fear. I don't fear this book, but it is very long. Let me see how many pages are in this one. I'm being very careful to not spoil anything as well. Oh, sorry. I just opened in the back. I love that that's in the, in the paper back there. Is that Seth? Okay. This one is actually a teensy bit shorter than Oathbringer, but it is 1216 pages. So that's why that one is counting for Firo. Then we have a five star prediction. I don't do this a lot because I really don't know what's going to lead towards a five star prediction. And I don't want to jinx myself or, you know, set my expectations too high. So for that one, I've chosen a book that it might not be a five star, but it also helps me complete a project and could potentially be a five star, especially with how the fifth book left off. And that is Bastille versus the evil librarians. This is a book that I'm going to be reading in the first portion of the month because it is one of the Goodreads Choice Awards nominees. Then we have Reread a Five Star. So for that one, I have chosen Two Towers. 
and I'm going to be reading this as an audiobook with the Andy Serkis version. I love Lord of the Rings. It's hands down my favorite book. So clearly rereading a favorite. So we had the Pokemon for those were Star U, which was the five star prediction and Star Me, which is the reread a five star. And then lastly, we have Pinsir, which is steampunk. And for that one, I'm going to use a book that I have not hauled yet, but will be coming out in an unboxing video, which I think is going up after this one. And that is my imaginary Mary. I got this from the second lit joy box that I purchased before canceling the subscription. They are actually going to send another book because it was supposed to have sprayed edges, but it didn't. It is fully, all the other special stuff is well done. Like here's the signature. I love the pages and I love the way that this is designed. So I wanted to get this on the list as soon as possible because if I end up really enjoying this book and wanting to keep it, I will keep the uh, one with the sprayed edges and not this one. And I will be unhauling this one. So there it completes the Pokathon prompts. Now I'm going to pause for just a second to change out the battery and I will come back with my reindeerathon prompts. Okay, battery change and outfit change because when I'm filming in here, it gets warm. Didn't want to wear the sweatshirt anymore. It is still a sandy, just got the battery. All right, so now we have the reindeerathon prompts. So in the description down below, if I remember, I will link the description and all the information uh, better explained than I do it here. All the prompts are based on Santa's reindeers and there's um, extras that you can get and there's the Santa clauses, the extra things. I'm not going to go into that. I didn't come up with a TBR for that. One of the ways that you can earn extra points is by certain other things that will apply to some of these books. And I know that I have gotten all of those extras in here. I just didn't write them down. And also there's the option of once you get all of the prompts slaying it, you can pick another one more prompt and get those points. I don't know at this time, which one of those other prompts that I'm going to use. So I didn't pick a book specifically for that. First off we have dancer, which is finish a series. Now for that, I'm using rhythm of war. I know for a fact, this is not the end of the series. However, this is into the end of the series so far, you know, up until I think 2024 is when book five is going to come out. I'm counting this as finishing a series. There's also a big book bonus prompt and that one will go there. So the first one is Dasher. Dancer is the prompt that had a flowy, elegant sort of font. And for this one, it's another one of the Goodreads Choice Award books. That is The Ballad of Never After. This seems fancy enough to me. I'm going to read it fairly soon. And I mean, the whole book itself is fancy-ish. So I keep forgetting how absolutely gorgeous this book is. So that is the second one. I believe one of the extras is to listen as an audiobook. So I'm not sure if any of these I have as audiobooks, but I'll try to find it. Next, we have favorite season or the colors of that favorite season. And my favorite season is winter and Christmas. So it's a little bit of a stretch for this book, but I'm going to make it count. And that is book seven in the Keeper of the Lost Cities trilogy. My favorite season is winter and Christmas. So we've got green here and we've got red on the spine. So this is counting for that one. Now I know at this time I still have book five to read and then you will see book six on the list a little bit later. This book fulfills the prompt of Prancer. Next, we have Vixen, a book that you want to read, but it might be overhyped. I have a feeling that this book ticks all the boxes for me and I'm gonna fall right into the hype. However, there are a lot of people that say that it might be overhyped. So for that one, I'm choosing Babel and my beautiful Fairy Loot Edition. No, Illumicrate. Do I have Fairy Loot or Illumicrate? Illumicrate my beautiful Illumicrate version. So that's what I'm doing for Vixen. Next we have Comet and that is a book with an astronomical word in the title. And for that one, I am choosing an arc, but yet a book that is on the Goodreads Choice Awards list. And that is The Sunbearer Trials by Aiden Thomas. Then for Cupid, we have Favorite Trope. I've never sat down really to think about what 
kinds of tropes that I like, but I know that I like magic. So for that one, I'm choosing the very secret society of your regular witches. I think I said that right. I don't have the full title in front of me. I don't have the book yet either, but I should have that book fairly soon. The next prompt is Dancer. And for that one, it's a book that you want to read, but you're not a fan of the cover. Now, all of the books that I was choosing from, I kind of don't mind the cover, but of those, the ones that I liked least was If You Could See the Sun, and that is another one of the Goodreads Choice Awards nominees. But I might be reading this later in the month because there's a long wait to get hold of either the audiobook or the ebook. For Blitzen, it was to use a random number generator with a selection of one to nine, and then whatever number that you got, you had to find a book that had that ended in those number of pages. I did that and got four. The amount of times that I had three or five or six, so many of my books fell into that one. Finally, I found one that was four, and that is book six of the Keeper of the Lost Cities series, Nightfall. So that's where that one is going to fall. And last of those prompts, you have Rudolph, and that is to start a series. And for that one, I'm going to do the Atlas Six. I realized I hadn't put this on a waiting list anywhere at any of the libraries. I don't know how I missed it, but I did. So I'm on the list for that one, and hopefully I will get that one soon. Okay, so the last of the readathons is the fairly low stakes, chill, old favor pass winter version of the Aurelium readathon. And that's the sweatshirt that I was wearing earlier. Now, the shop that I was most intrigued by is not a genre that I follow. So that's mystery thriller. And I didn't want to stretch to do that one. So I'm doing two shops. And the way that it works is each shop has a genre and one main prompt for that. And then two extras for each of those. I have two books selected for each of these and all of them are arcs or ebooks. So the first one is, let's see if I can say this straight the first time, Wallace's Wonderful Winter Wanimals. So I don't think I'll have any of the uh, little logos or anything to put in here, but please go to G at Book Roast's channel. She has an amazing video up about this. So for that one, the theme is fantasy. So I knew I would be doing this one. And the first one, it's just in that genre. The second prompt is animal on the cover. And then the third is a winter setting. So for the first one, I am choosing the Pearl Hunter, which is an arc that I have. And there is a snake on the cover, as you can see. And I'm doing that for the first one for fantasy and for animal on the cover. As far as a winter setting, I chose another arc that I have, and that is come see the fair. I believe this is fantasy and I'm going to make it count even if it's not fantasy because it's been so long since I requested this. The other one is I didn't write the whole shop name. It's very long, but they're supposed to be, you know, like very dull. I, I, we provide all of these normal things. And that is Smith and Friends Arcane something, something, something. But the genre for that is contemporary. I don't read a lot of contemporary. I'm choosing only one book. I'm not finishing the second of these prompts, but for that one, I'm choosing another arc. And that is on air with Zoe Washington. I've read the first of these Zoe Washington books before. And so that's why I requested the arc. And that's why I'm doing that one. I realized with all of these books that I don't have any nonfiction on this list. I will probably try to pick up another nonfiction at some point throughout the month. If I, I do great, if I don't totally fine, because there were some other months this year where I made progress in that on that front. This TBR is going to wrap up some things, do some more readathons, get some other books off of my list. And I am really looking forward to all of the books that I'm reading in December and starting a new year, keep anticipating a new, a 2022 recap goals recap video, as well as 2023 goals video coming soon later this month. We shall see how things go. And my brain is falling apart here as I'm filming. So I'm going to end this TBR video here. And thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.